Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Got wet hair this morning. Well, um, couldn't make it last another day. Tried. <laughs> I thought it'd be better to do it tomorrow, but so I have to go out and I don't really want to go out with wet hair, but I'm not going to be drying it first. Don't want too much heat styling. So, sad news about the pumpkin. It's starting to go a bit so the, the the lid the lid went gooey so um i'm gonna have to bin the lid but um the rest of it is fine for now but um it's kind of on its way out but today is halloween so happy halloween everyone happy halloween okay let's do the joke <clears throat> I asked my granddaughter if she wanted to watch the Grammy Awards. And so she said, well, I thought only old people could watch that. <laughs> I thought that was quite good. We'll give that one a... We'll give it a cheer. Give it a bit of a cheer. Tomorrow's one's mega long. I'm bound to get that wrong. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if I mess it up or not. Well, um, I've, I didn't get the grief that I imagined I was going to get about returning my recording equipment and um, her just got sent um, a label. So after I've finished here, I'm going to go, because my printer's now out there, which is a bit, of, was a good idea at the time, but now if I have to print anything, I'm going to go out there. So um, yeah, I'm going to print off the label and when I pick up, the present that I got for Gary from the post office, I'm going to send that off. So hopefully I'll get my refund. But I did have to buy another one. So we'll see how this one fares and uh, whether that will go back or if I will actually manage to find um, a backup one. So fingers crossed that I do because um, I should have just bought 20 of them when I had the chance, really. Well, maybe that might have been a bit of an exaggeration. So I put in a little Timu order last night. There was one thing that I really wanted to get and I will show you it. Um, maybe over on Rocksteady when it arrives, but um, we'll see. I mean, it's it's meant to get rid of jowls. And um, although I don't have like massive jowls, I do have the start of jowls. And um, well, I'm going to kind of nip that in the bud, really. I'm trying all these uh, gadgets out soon to... Um, to see if they work i've been getting them pop up on my feed so it's right okay let's get it on um yeah but that'll be over on rocksteady which is kind of only around 700 or less now um watch hours away so um i really do need that final push for rocksteady so i did a live stream there yesterday and I will do some more and I need to really try and get that that done. Um, because it's that far now. That far. Like, I am that far. Oh, it looked a bit like I was straining to go to the loo then, doesn't it? I was thinking more of... No, I wasn't. I wasn't thinking of that at all. Maybe it's this one. Stop it. Oh. <laughs> no. No. That's the one. Oh. Oh, that's the one. One of these days. That doesn't look like a whoopee cushion or anything. What am I supposed to know what that is? That symbol. Oh, hang on. It does help if you maybe put it up the right way. Oh, yeah. Bending over. Looks right when you get it up the right way. Oh, well. So, um, nasty weather out there today. Bit rainy. Again, I've forgotten to put my jewellery on. What am I like? Naked is what I'm like. So, yeah, um, nasty out there. And apparently we're going to get this humdinger of a storm in the country. So, um, they did say it'd be worse Wednesday through to Thursday. So, um, hopefully not going anywhere. And, um... It's mostly, I think, affecting 
big time over in Northern Ireland. But the swathe across the country did actually get us. So um, we'll see how... Um, <laughs> it might just blow away, you never know. We just have to wait and see. But apparently it's going to be quite bad, torrential, evil rain. So we'll see. And there might even be some snow. Mm -mm. But they did say the rain would follow so it wouldn't settle. We just have to see. I like a little bit of snow. I always feel a bit jealous of Canada. Because they get big, chunky, lovely, white, beautiful snow. And they get to do stuff with the snow, you know, like playing what they call snow blowers. No, what they called Z doos or something. I don't know. But toboggans and those, you know, like a jet ski on the snow. I'm sure they're called ski doos. Ski doos? Ski doos. I think they are. And, you know, we, we get a little bit of snow now and then, but not enough to warrant having snow tyres. So when we do get snow, it totally devastates the country because, you know, we're just not equipped. Nothing is equipped for it, apart from grit on the roads, which they are usually too late to do. And then we're all stranded. So, yeah. And we get that if we have leaves fall on train tracks and stuff like that. We're kind of a, a really badly prepared country for um, acts of nature. Um, but yeah, I like a little bit of snow, last about a week and then go away, that that would be perfect. But a nice chunky fall that looks beautiful, That that's what I want to see. But I don't want it to stay forever because obviously that's a nightmare, trying to get out in it. And we'll be cut off because of the road here and the country lanes, we would be totally cut off, I suppose. So might be cosy though, if we were. Just just a, just for a day or two, you know. Nothing like major. I did a walk in the snow once. I'm not sure if it's on this channel or if I did it over on Rocksteady, but I did the um when we had the road, you know, before it fell in the sea, I'm sure it was before. And Gary and I went out looking uh walking in the snow and I think he was teasing me a lot and stuff. So yeah, we don't need to do that again. Although I think it might exhaust me these days walking in the snow. It was. It's bad enough walking on a beach, you know, or uh, across mud. Oh, the mud! That was fun when we went um, to do the pumpkins walking in the mud. My thighs were killing me the next day because it was so heavy on the boots. The boots heavy enough, and then you've got all this mud attached to either side. It was like walking, wading through treacle. I suppose you could say. So um, I have no idea what I'm going to do today. I'd like to do a quest, you know, a yarn quest, but I don't think I've got any more shops around here. The only one I could do is if I go to see what they've got in Pound Stretcher. It's not really a yarn shop, but I could do that as I will be a stone's throw from there. I've already done the shop that's in um, the town, so I can't really do that again. Um, not so soon anyway. So yeah, I'm kind of at the mercy of yarn in places like pound stretcher around here i could get in the car and go further afield but i don't really have um i don't really have that in my arsenal today or soon <coughs> excuse me i was thinking the little bit of christmas presents i've got i should start to wrap because i don't like leaving it to the last minute and i think if you do it gradually it becomes um um what's the word a pleasure to wrap them. If you leave them all to the last minute or leave them all till you've got loads, it becomes a chore to wrap them. So maybe if I do it as I get them. I did that one year and I usually write down what I've got. But um, this was um, when the kids were young. And then I couldn't remember which present was which. And I wanted them to say, maybe open some last. So I had to go and open them all. And find out what presents were what and then rewrap them, which was a mission. I've got an itchy nose, excuse me. And um, yeah, so that wasn't good. But so, then I started to number them. So after that, I would wrap it and call it present number one. And in the book, number one would be this. So that was probably the most organised year that I've ever had. And um, yeah, but I need to start doing it, I think. Get, get them out of sight and um, yeah, I've got a few for Gary now. 
little ones. Well, they're not little, but they're not big. Medium-sized presents. And they're bulky. So, yeah, I need to do that. Um, yeah, I need some breakfast too. I'm starving at the minute. Well, no, I was. I was rumbling and now it's kind of stopped. Um, I brushed my teeth and it kind of stopped it. I don't know why. Why should that? I mean, it's like the taste of mint maybe. I don't know. Fooled my stomach into thinking it's had some food when it really hasn't. <laughs> Weird, huh? Weird, I don't know. So, yeah, I need to go find yarn, I think, today when I pop out and do my stuff. And I almost forgot that I had that thing to um, send back. So, uh, yeah, we'll be doing that for sure today. Anyway, not much else to tell you. I mean, uh, other than the fact that... Oh, yes, there is. Um, the programme that I was talking about yesterday, someone said, see if I can find out what it's called. It's called Mrs. Wilson. Mrs. Wilson. That's the um, the program about the the guy with the identities, Mrs. Wilson. That's the one you want to look for. So I started watching Jimmy Savile last night, and I didn't realise that um, that one I that I hadn't seen until Julie mentioned it. I hadn't seen that one. The one I'd seen pop up was a documentary, but the one that is out at the moment is actually a drama with a little bit of um, stuff thrown in. And um, poor Alan Partridge, <laughs> playing him. But, um, yeah, so I looked online and, um, on you know, what's the word? Streaming. And I managed to find episode one that I'd missed. So now I can watch them as they come up, or if they're all there, I can watch them all. But, yeah. Um, ew! Um, we were saying on my live stream over on Rock City about that, the uh, program about Jimmy Savile and uh, you know and I said about all the people that you watched when you were a child and had all those warm and fuzzy memories for uh, it turned out to be evil you know like uh, Rolf Harris you know used to watch him doing his painting and doing that funny <laughs> you know what I mean I can't do it and um, his didgeridoo and his wobble board and everything else and uh, Boomerangs, introducing us to all things Australian and um, starting our love of Australia. And, uh, yeah, then he turns out to be a paedophile. But you know what? And, you know, at the time I can remember saying they better not come out with something about more common wise now because that would really, like, kill me. But, um, yeah, so many, aren't there? So many of them, but... Jimmy Sav Savile, well, he was the the epitome of creep, basically. And, you know, I never liked Jimmy Savile. Don't get me wrong, I was never invested in that guys and gals stuff. Um, I used to watch Jim or Fix It. That was basically as much as... And if he was ever on top of the pops as a host, I'd see it. Because he was the first ever. But, um, yeah. Creepy. Creepy. Uh, yeah, enough of that. But, yeah. Julie said something about the the one on Jim will fix it. This kid asked to see Rolf Harris. <laughs> so, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> I almost thought, I said this on my live stream. I almost wrote into Jim will fix it to see if I could get my my sister's wish. Now she confided in me that she'd always wanted to draw on a bald man's head. So I was going to write to Jim will fix it and see if I could get her to draw a picture on a bald man's head, but thank goodness I didn't, you know. I think it was like, um, she said, no, her husband wouldn't like it, so just don't do it. So I said, okay. Um, I didn't, thank goodness. Can you imagine? I'd have had to have gone and sort him out, you know, because I'm the feisty little sister. I'm the one, you know, that, that pick on my sister. She's the big sister, but I'm the one that would go after them. <laughs> it's true, I had too much Joan Jean. It's my mother's fault. She, um, My mum was Joan, and she was quite a feisty woman. So but I have a bit of that. Only when I'm absolutely pushed into it, you know, don't have it the rest of the time. <laughs> oh... Good job I didn't really, isn't it? Anyway, uh, I did say enough of that, didn't I? And then I went on again. Silly me. 
see I kind of need to um, get to grips with all of those tutorials I want to do. Um, it's going to be a little hard because um, today's Gary's last day and he's got another week off and it's really difficult to do that sort of thing. Although yesterday I, w I did my open with me and he was here. But he said, I will stay really, really quiet while you do it. And he did, you know, bless him. So that was all right. I managed to do it. But, uh, so now I have to go package up some stuff. And that, um, um, you know, thing I have to return. And go then have some breakfast and get out. So um, I might have a little look, see if I can find any yarn. And if I do... Um, I will see you for that video and watch out for live streams um, because I will be doing them. I'll put them on my wall when I'm doing them over on Rocksteady, but I'm going to be doing some to see if I can get that last push of watch hours. So incidentally, if anybody has any spare time or a spare um, device that they... So thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Sorry, you can't resist that. Bye for now, everyone.